Yeah, I know, and hopefully, um, yeah, I think the rewards hopefully don't suck as much as last time. Greetings, owners of fine luxury digital rectangles. Well, you know what time it is, kids. It's end of season. We've got 9,000 glint on my third account. Let's go ahead and claim it. Before we go to the shop, we're going to look at the account and just kind of see where I'm sitting for reward cards. Uh, this is my bronze account, my third account, so... Uh, don't expect to play a whole lot on this account going forward. You know, I'm going to try to concentrate more on my main account and my $10 account. But let's just see where we're at for the reward cards. So my goal for here is to get max bronze. So I need level 3 commons. We're pretty much there. Level 2 rares. Once again, pretty much there. So I think for this account, the main thing I want to focus on right now are epics. So as you can see, I'm still missing three of the epics. So let's go ahead, go to the shop. We're going to get one epic because that's all we can get. And see how much glint is left over. So we got Night Reaper. The one I really want to get on this account I don't have yet is Shock Trooper. So we've got 3,900 glint left. So I could get a gold common draw. I could get some more rares. Oh, heck, let's just have some fun. Let's just waste the, I mean, let's just spend these on some minor chess. Yep, we'll use legendary potions. Yeah, this account, I think, is pretty much going to be getting minor chests um, every day. So I think that's the plan. We're going to get minor chests every day, get whatever we can get, and then at end of season, we'll pick up epics. Okay, let's get started. So good amount of merits. In fact, I think that's three away from the max. Another great merit pull, so we might be able to open a case. Okay. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Look at that. An epic card out of a minor chest. That is fantastic. 136 merits. Chaos Evoker. 170 merits. 56 merits. This reminds me of the uh, the old days of where I would grind Ged for every day to try to get you know 10 or 12 um, bronze chests, and then I'd open them all and not get any cards. But this is cool. I mean, if you can get epics and you know rares out of minor chests. That's fantastic, and a great amount of uh, merits, too. Look, another rare. Legendary Potion, merits. So overall, even though it's not a lot of cards, only four cards in 19 chests to get two rares and an epic, that is really good. And then we've got enough to get... Uh, let's go to the guild and get a case. Get a case for 2000 Not sure if you guys got a chance to see Dwayne's uh, newest video that he put out. It was one that he recorded a couple days ago. Uh, we were talking about uh, the marketplace and summoners, especially the gold foil commons. And <clears throat> at least for me, you guys know I love gold foils, especially for my alt accounts. And, you know, I only need one or two copies of each. I just think they are very, very underpriced especially going forward and this is one thing i don't know if you guys are aware of going forward after uh, chaos rotates out if you want to play little league the only summoners that you're going to be able to use are those common summoners the rares cost what five mana and the legendaries are seven and at least for me little league comes up quite a bit so you know that's just one thing to keep in mind as well so if you don't have you know, at least uh, somewhat of a, a deck built around uh, common summoners. You know, if you don't have at least, I would say, silver level. You know, if you guys play, you know, gold and above, you may want to think about picking up some cheap, uh, even if they're not the gold version, just the regular summoners if they're under 30 cents. At least for me, I think anything under 30 cents is a must buy. Okay, so let's get started. Let's see what we get out of these. So we got Chimney Wall Stop, uh, Gobson. Whistling Damon, all good. Witch of Warwick. And Relinor Cleaver. Okay. Let's take a look at real quick before we go over to the $10 account. Not sure if I can combine any of these. 
but we'll just check. Oh, chimney well stop. Chimney well stop. So if I have 10, that means I can combine him to level 3. So he gains another health. Yeah, I'm pretty much where I'm at, where I need to be on this account. So like I said, going for chests and just seeing if I can get the luck of the draw. And we did today. We've got an epic card. So that epic card would have cost us 7500 Okay, so nothing else here can be combined. And then I just had that one rare. Um, yeah, I only have two copies of him. So, Okay, so that is it, I think. Let me check real quick. We spent all our glint. Yep, 141. So let's move on over to the $10 account. Check out Gedfer. So we got 22,035 glint on this account. So this is pretty much where I should be. Let me make a note of that. 22,035. It's a little bit less than last season. Last season I had 23,000, so I'm keeping track of how much glint I earn on all three accounts. So let's go ahead and claim those. I couldn't believe I made it all the way to gold three, so I'm very happy with that. Okay, so we've got 25,000 glint. And once again, let's check this account, see where we're at. You guys know I love my gold cards. Um, normally I would go for an epic. But I've got at least one copy of each epic, so I'm pretty happy there. Uh, my rares, I want to get all to level 2. You can see we've got that there. And of course, commons are level 3s and 4s. So what I'm going to do for this account is I'm going to go for the gold draws. Now, how many gold rares do I have? Looks like I just have the Megalodon. So let's go ahead Let's actually get a gold rare for 15,000. Oh, so hopefully your Commander Slade, I use you a lot. Dark Arborist, I use you a lot. Dra oh, there we go, Dragon Egg Forager. Nice. So we got another rare card. We've got 10,000 left. Oh, I think that is just enough to get three gold commons. Yes, it is. So we'll go ahead and get three gold commons. So I have managed to get one gold uh, common summoner on this account, all five of them. So that's max bronze. So if I can get one of each of these, that's fantastic. Now, if I get a double, I think I'm going to go ahead and um, try to sell that card and get a little fun. So got two of the demon, one skink. Okay, so we got the Dragon Egg Forger. Yeah, so now what I have to do is I have to come up with some DEC, and I'm going to go ahead and unlock these cards and then try to sell them. So I've got extra Dragon Egg Forger. I think this is one in the marketplace I did not see hardly any copies of, so that will be a good one to try to sell. Now let's look at the common cards. So my commons, actually I've got a lot of the skink. So he's level 4 and I've got an extra one, so I might be selling that one as well. And then we got a couple of the demons. So this is good. You know, this will give me a chance to earn a little bit of funds on this account. All right. So let's head over now to the main account. See where Jovac's at with his epics and the rest of his collection. Now for my epics on my main... I'm thinking I only want to get level 3. So we got 70,900 glint. Made it to diamond 3. So 70,900. Let's go ahead and claim this. Okay, let's take a look at the account. Oh, before we look at the reward cards, I want to show you guys something cool. So I was happy. So yeah, after Dwayne was doing that video, I, I went on the market and I'm like, I'm buying a lot of these gold uh, summoners. So 
what I may end up doing with these, if I don't level these up enough to keep for myself, you know, if I get extras, you know, I may combine these to like maybe max silver, get these things to level five and save them and start renting them out um, when Conclave comes out next April. So I'm going to start loading up now, get ready to rent. Okay, so let's just look overall at my epics for the reward cards. So yeah, so once I get these things to level 3, you know, that's good enough. Because to go from level 3 to level 4, I think most of these only get one more health. So to go from 3 to 4, you need 10 extra copies. And for me, it's not worth it to just buy them one at a time. So if I get them in chests and all that, that's fantastic. But I'm not going to concentrate on epics anymore. Uh, rares, I'd like to get these to level 4 and 5. You can see we're getting there. We're pretty much in the 4s. You know, once again, I need to get more. I think I'm just going to be going for gold foils, to be honest with you. And then commons, you know, I got my commons to 5. I want to get my golds leveled up. So, yeah, definitely we're going to go for more gold draws. Okay, so we've got 92,000. Let's get six gold rares. Oh, one thing too, uh, if you guys can confirm this, I know you get a 10% bonus using a gold card. Does that also give you a 10% bonus for your SPS earnings as well? Because I noticed on uh, games that I had, like I think I was playing Gedford and I was getting like 200 glint and like 0.7 SPS. When I use gold cards and I got to like... Uh, 260 or 270 my SPS went up to 0.9 so it seems like it doesn't just give you um, the glint bonus but it gives you an SPS bonus as well and if that's the case then I'm even more bullish on just you know the gold cards okay so let's see what we get here dark arborist love that card I definitely want to get that as high as I can nomad continuum seer leopard Razorhound, and I'm getting a mix, which is great. Where are you, Commander Slade? There you are, Commander Slade, asking you shall receive. So we got six different rares, so that is fantastic. Okay, so we've got 2,600 left. Oh, should I save these for gold? I think I'm going to might save the rest of it for some more gold foil common draws. Okay, so let's take a look at the gold cards. So gold commons, how are we sitting so I've got almost one copy of all of them, so I'm just missing one. Uh, i got a few of these at level four. I don't think I can combine any of these. And then let's look at the rares. So we got at least one copy of eight of them, eight of the 12. So these, of course, are going to take more time to level, but the nice thing is, you know, getting that 10% bonus. Love the Dark Arborist at three to get that uh, Magic Reflect. Uh, Commander Slade, we've got two of you, so we can get you to level three. You get that extra attack and extra armor. You know what, I'm feeling kind of lucky, you know, after those good pulls that we got out of minor chests. So, uh, should I go for a bunch of minor chests or go for two major I think let's go for two major chests. We had, what, 2,600 left? So do I go two major or do I go a bunch of minor chests? Let's go two major. I like the major. You know, a thousand glint is not that bad. Sure, let's use alchemy potions. You know, you get more merits, you get multiples of potions. Okay. So three alchemy Eh, two commons. Yeah, kind of a dud. Oh, well, overall, very, very happy to get um, all those gold cards. I do really like the gold rarity draws. You know, yeah, they are pricey, but at least for me, the way that I look at the game, I really want golds more than anything. So very happy with that. Okay, guys, there you have it. There are the season ending rewards for November 15th, 2024. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, please post in the comments if you've opened your end of season uh, glint and spend it what kind of uh, draws did you go for or chess and did you get anything good so um, excited to hear what you guys have to say and i will see you again soon with another video remember this weekend 
on Sunday will be the next uh, Market Watch video, and this will be cards. So part one, we will go through um, all the prices on cards, and then in part two, we will go to the market and kind of do a deep dive. And hey, maybe you guys will find some deals, and uh, maybe something like you know the Gold Foil Summoners. Maybe there's some other older cards and sets out there that have uh, good deals that you may not be aware of. So stay tuned for that on Sunday. Okay, guys, stay the course, keep on forging and have fun, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.